Pastor Bonnie and I, as we come together here this evening to share the word of God to our body, our gathering, and it's been unusual times. Yes. And I'm reminded of what Joshua said, Joshua chapter 3, verse 4, when they was getting ready to pass over, he said to the children of Israel, we have not come this way before. And so for Pastor Bonnie and I, our uh, 42 years of ministry, we are standing in different times. We have not come this way before. Mm -hmm. I'm reminded of Mary when she ran to the tomb the day after Christ was crucified the next morning. She found the tomb empty. And so many times today, it's unusual for Pastor Bonnie and I to not assemble ourselves and come together with the body of Christ. It is true. And our churches may be empty, a lot of them this year, but that doesn't say that our hearts are empty. Mm -hmm. Our hearts reach out to the body of Christ today in celebrating the death and the burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And I was reminded in my travels the other day and Bonnie, she's often hollering at me because I run out of the road a lot. But my cruise control was set. And so on the steering wheel, I pushed it to where I had to reset it. And basically, that's a, that's a word, I believe, for this hour. For all of us. We've come to a place in life to where so much of our lives has to be reset. I think the night of loved ones who stepped into eternity. Pastor Bonnie and I, we pray every day for this nation and people that has had loved ones to step out of their lives. And those who remain, it's just simply they have to reset their lives. Yeah. Just like Mary that morning when she ran to the tomb. And she found the tomb empty. Well, Mary and a lot of the early believers had to reset their lives because no longer Christ was with them. Yeah. And so he promised to so that he'd never leave us nor forsake us. And I'm reminded of what he said to the disciples. He said, I'll not leave you comfortless. Yes. So this hour that we are in, we're not comfortless. He provided the very gift in the presence of the Holy Spirit. And the amazing part about it in those verses, he said, the works that I've done, you'll do greater. And I'm here, Bonnie and I, are to encourage the body of Christ as we reach out to him that in this hour, Let's reset our lives and listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit. In resetting our lives, let's take the love of Christ out to where there's so many needs. One doesn't have to look very far. Yes. The Lord will provide. I'm often reminded of the scripture in Philippians 4.19, but my God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Pastor Byron, we've seen him supply that need. Amen. Amen. Above and beyond. Amen. Over and over. Over and over. And 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 Pastor Byron is often saying, and then some. And then some. And we have a body of believers that has, and it's throughout the world we're seeing it, a spirit of generosity. Yes. You know what the enemy meant for evil? I believe it's God said, I'll, I'll turn it around. Yes. And I, I see people coming together and not thinking of themselves, but what can we do to bless somebody else? Amen. And that's why we're coming together at Easter in a different way this year. It's not church as usual, but it's still church. And we're taking the love of Christ throughout our community. Yes. And so 
our prayers for the body of Christ, but not only for the body of Christ, but there's a lot of hurting people out there. Yes. No greater miracle could take place in this year than a soul stepping into the kingdom of God. Yes. So I'm going to ask Pastor Bonnie to lead us in prayer for souls to be added to the kingdom of Amen. God. Amen. And we pray that the love that we're trying to show forth is his love. Amen. And it's going to change lives. Yes. Amen. So, Pastor Bonnie, let's agree. Amen. You take us to the prayer for souls, okay? Father, we just thank you for this time yes. that we can come together yes. this Easter season to just yes. celebrate. Lord. To celebrate that resurrection yes. and what it means to us, Lord. Yes. And Father, we just thank you for the souls, Father, yes. this Easter that's yes. going to be touched throughout Hampshire County and yes. throughout the land, Lord, throughout yes. the United States, yes. Lord, right now. The souls yes. that is being touched this this day, Lord, for this Easter season. Yes. Lord, we just thank you, as, as Pastor Wayne has already said, you did not leave us without that comforter. Yes. And Lord, we thank you for the comfort, comforter that we have within us, yes. Lord, that Holy Spirit that lives within yes. us. And we can be assured that he is there every day of our life. Yes. And it's in Jesus' name Hallelujah. that we praise you for this Easter season. Amen. We just want to remember the, we've heard President Trump call them warriors. Yes. There's people that are on the front, front line. Line. Amen. You know, our doctors, our nurses, medical staff, the uh, rescue squad people, you know, the merchants, and, and also uh, the mail carriers, wherever they're at. You know, we just, we speak blessings and we pray a protection. Amen. God says in his word in Psalms 91, which we read every day, yes. that no plague will come now our dwelling. Amen. And so we just lift up his word and that name of Jesus Christ. And we thank him for the death and the burial and the resurrection and for the work of the cross, he's not there now. Amen. For the empty tomb, he's not there. He's seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for all that's upon the earth. Amen. Have a very blessed Easter. And I pray that your life touches somebody else's life in some way. Keep looking up. Amen. Keep looking up in Jesus' name. Amen. I've had bad days, tasted victory and defeat I've had problems, big as planets Turn to pebbles when you speak I've had nothing to my name Never lacked for anything Cause you were there with me You've been my savior, sustainer When I'm at my end My healer, redeemer you pay when I wander far away you keep calling out my name you don't give up
resurrection. What does the resurrected life mean to us? A new day, a new life. The old is gone. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. The sin problem dealt with. The grave being empty. The fullness has come. Resurrected life means power. The same power that raised Christ from the dead dwells within you and I. What a word for the church today. To walk in that resurrected power. Hallelujah.